Okay, so this first one is going to be heavy. Some a lot a lot of these are going to be heavy today. Damn it. Like not, but like I feel like it's okay. We'll get through it together. Will we? We got this. Okay. So I already kind of teased the title for this one with our Patreon fam during group therapy. And when I when I read it to you the first time, you were like gasping. You're like, <gasps> it's from True Off My Chest. And it's titled, I set my daughter up to be bullied in school. I have an autistic 14-year-old who has terrible hygiene. I have to fight with her to get her to shower, brush her teeth, and clean up after herself during her period. It is disgusting. Blood everywhere and the constant washing of underwear. She sees no problem with her inability to clean herself up. I told her that people are going to bully her in school if she smells bad and that it is hard to recover from that socially. And she ignored me. Well, she had her period last week. I picked her clothes and allowed her to wear white pants. I wanted to see if she would clean up after herself so that the pants would be clean when she came back home. Before I even dropped her off, the pants were red. I stayed silent. I dropped her off like normal. She needed to learn how these types of situations will impact her social life if she continues to live like a slob. She came home in tears. The kids were ruthless. She was mocked for her strong smell and the red on her pants. It hurt me to see her like this, but I was not seeing the changes that had to be made. For the rest of the week, she took good care of herself. There were no stains. She showered herself and would spray perfume to maintain a flowery scent. My husband and I fought about this, though. He called me some very hurtful words because of my choice. He said I handled it poorly and that she will be paying for this for the rest of the school year. I see it as a life lesson, and it actually yields the results unlike my husband's soft approach. Am I the asshole? I don't, I want to hear your thoughts. I have a lot of things going through my mind. I'm not, I, you know, I obviously autism manifests itself so differently in every child with it. And I think there's clearly something going on. Like she already has an autism diagnosis. And so for me coming from an OT perspective, I'm like, okay, well, why isn't she good with hygiene? Mm -hmm. Like, is it the routine that's difficult? Is it sensory issues that's making it difficult? There's there's more to this than like just, oh, my daughter doesn't want to be clean. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, a lot of kids go through that. You know, young boys forget to put deodorant on and- Mm -hmm. You know, somewhat a girl might forget a pad or a tampon, you know, one day when they go to school, stuff happens. Mm -hmm. But to purposefully set your kid up for such ridicule and bullying and with social media these days, like very easily could have ended up on a TikTok with people making fun of her and showing her walking down the hall with red blood all over her white pants. Mm -hmm. And so I just think it's like it's it's a neglectful form of parenting. I really think it definitely the asshole wholeheartedly in this one. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that in the beginning, you know, I'm not super educated on like everything that comes with autism diagnosis. Um, I do feel like I have seen like examples in my own life of people that I know are have some type of, and I know this is an autism, by the way, I'm not conflating the two, but some type of mental health And then there's this correlation with, you know, lack of hygiene. Not always, of course, but I just know some people in Uh, my life. No, absolutely. Like depression. Yeah. You don't want to fucking shower when you're depressed. You don't want to brush your teeth. You can't brush your teeth. Like life is. Yeah. I've seen a couple people close to me where they're going through, whether it be depression or anxiety, and they just can't even brush their teeth Mm -hmm. genuinely. And so I have, I, I don't know if there's something deeper here something type mental health related I don't know but regardless of what it is I mean she's only 14 so young I know girls our age who are still sometimes slacking on their hygiene like it sounds gross but like you said things happen um I go days where I forget to put deodorant on and like I'm a pretty clean functional person like day to day um And it's not to say that she's dysfunctional, but she's still so young. And I think at least I know 14 year olds these days are like winging their eyeliner and whatnot. But um, I don't think I agree with you. I think it was very harsh of her own mom to do that at this young age. Yeah. I think if she had been like maybe a little older, like closer to 18, 
I still don't think I'd agree with it, but it's like, okay, you're old enough to where you need to kind of like figure it out. There's only so much you can do as a parent. Like clip the wings. Like you got to kind of. I think that would be, I would wholeheartedly at like 18 without an autism diagnosis. I'd be like, yeah, your your daughter's 18 and still doesn't want to practice good hygiene. Like, okay, she's getting to that point where she's an adult. Yeah. But then to have like this autism diagnosis, it's like, Mm -hmm. that could mean so many things. And Mm -hmm. like, Autism in girls manifest a little differently than boys. So like it manifests differently in everyone, but especially with the two sexes, it can be very different. And so we don't know like how high functioning she is or if she's like lo- like lower level. And so it's like yeah. the mom said like I picked out her I picked out her outfit but allowed her to wear white pants and it's like you really wanted to fuck her up. Yeah. Like this wasn't just like I'm going to put her in like normal jeans and hey, little red, whatever. But like, no, you put her in white pants. Yeah. Well, she did. It doesn't sound like she put her in white pants. She allowed her to wear white pants without advising her. Like, because I'm going to be really honest with you. I saw something somewhere. (laughs) I know it sounds really like not legitimate with that. (laughs) I saw something somewhere sometime that. (laughs) (laughs) So you made it up. (laughs) No, I I think you could actually fact check me on this. I saw something that said, and it resonated with me because I could never understand this about myself, that when women are like menstruating, they're naturally attracted to like white, the color white. Mm. And it has something, I don't remember why. You could probably Google it. I don't know. Maybe it was, I don't know. And I always found that every time it was that time of the month for me, for some reason, I'd have these white pants that I would sit in my closet untouched all year. And then it was, when it was that time of the month, I was like, you know what? I want to I wear- feel like you s- kind of still do that. I do. <laughs> I didn't grow out of it. No, this isn't past tense. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like we always go out and you're like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. My white leggings. Literally, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck, Alejandra? Yes, you like, knowingly put what? those white pants on knowing that you had your period. A hundred percent. Oh my gosh. It's a real thing. So I don't know if that, whatever, like whether or not this person felt that way. Yeah. Some. I, what I'm saying is sometimes you forget that it is that time of the month. You don't put two and two together. No. Like, hey, I'm like quite literally bleeding. White probably isn't the best choice of pants. You just don't, you're not thinking in that way. Yeah. I can vouch for that. And I'm not 14. I'm like a grown ass woman who's been doing this for like a decade. Now. It doesn't get any easier, guys. Like, no, it, it's shit still happens. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I bleed through a lot of stuff. I just now have designated like period underwear yeah. because they're so fucked up and ruined that yeah. I'm just like, here's my little bin of period underwear. Like, <laughs> it's fine. I'm, I you don't want to throw them away because it's like I know. to buy new ones. And, or like, you'll just ruin your, your period underwear stash will just grow. Oh, yeah. You'll just start to like they're the all, other ones. They're will, all period underwear now. Right. I need to. So you have to keep go them. shopping. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, Sorry. Di- I digress. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess. Uh, that the white thing it feels like the mom kind of did set her up for failure I feel like my mom even though my mom like really wanted me to learn lessons in in a hard way she was just kind of like a you know hard ass on me sometimes even my mom would be like I do not think you should wear white pants well and it's not just the white pants but it doesn't sound like and maybe OP like didn't include this context, but it doesn't sound like there was any other additional measures. Like was a pad not inserted, like a panty liner? Like was it yeah. just literally free balling, free bleeding? Like <laughs> free balling. Yeah. Like you're just like, I don't know. Like you're just out there on about without any, any guards. Unrestricted. Yeah. Like free bleeding. Free, free flowing. Yeah. And so it's like, not only did you put her in white pants, but you also like, if you're picking her clothes and kind of helping her get ready, did you not put a panty liner in the underwear? Like, yeah. it just seems like there's such a disconnect and like, there's no talk about like past education around periods. It's, it's, it was kind of like the comment of like, I've told her she, like, if she smells bad, that it is hard to recover from that socially. And she yeah. ignored me, but it's like smelling bad and perioding through white pants is like two very different like Mm -hmm. things in a social hierarchy like smelling bad we all smell bad from time to time yeah you can get over the smelly thing but like to white pants like uh, ah that i'm not gonna lie to you that is probably a lot of girls worst nightmare absolutely at that age showing through your pants i i remember in school, I like bled through one day and I had to like literally have a sweatshirt tied around my yes. waist the rest of the day. 
And I don't know where it was, if this was like from a TV show or another Reddit story. I feel like it's from a TV show or something. But it was like this character that got their period, perioded all over their chair, and then like got made fun of from everyone in their class. Yeah. It's like, oh. That's, like, that's a vulnerable age. Yeah. And like periods are nothing to be sh- like shameful about at all. Like even myself, I'm like checking myself right now. I'm like, so what if you fucking bleed through some pants? I know. Like fuck it. It's but a- at that age. It's kids are fucking mean. Yeah. yeah. 14 year old girls are mean. Yeah. No, at 14. 28 year old girls, still kind of mean. Still kind of mean. Sometimes. But I think I'd recover from that at this age. Now I'd be like, oh, you want some? I'd rub it on them. Stop. I'd fuck them up. Ew. I'm sorry, not ew. <laughs> the female anatomy. We're trying to embrace the yeah, period. Yeah, is not anything to be grossed out by. But it's just I, painful and sucks. I just think we need to address the reality that at that age, things that are later normalized in life are still very like, taboo and just not openly talked about and not yeah. like it's rare that 14 year olds would have that experience and not make it a big deal yeah exactly Ugh, the top comment on this is you're the asshole and they like quote op's thing mm-hmm. before i even dropped her off the pants were red i stayed yeah. silent no you allowed her to be humiliated by her peers at school actually hang on dot 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 and they quote op again I picked her clothing and allowed her to wear white pants. So you actually picked her clothing? You did not simply fail to point out the risk from her clothing color choice? You actively chose white pants? You caused her to be humiliated. Mm. And the next person down goes, OP is abusive. Set her child up to be mocked. What an awful thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's... I agree with those comments, to be honest. It does seem very, very malicious. And it doesn't seem like you're teaching a lesson. Like... She might learn the lesson, but it seems like it will be through being traumatized and not just well guided. And if that's the goal, then okay, you're achieving it, but it seems kind of toxic. There is an update from OP, and I can read the first line, and it says, Update I failed as a parent with my autistic daughter. Ooh. So it sounds like this worked. It okay. sounded like like Reddit really did like check her. Check her. So I'm trying to find this update. Please be here. <laughs> I'm checking all the way back machine captures. Found it. Hey. Hey. Okay. So from True Off My Chest, update, I failed as a parent with my autistic daughter. She did not want to come to school today. I let her skip and we went out to get some pancakes for breakfast at a place she likes. I apologized to my husband and he apologized to me too. We are going to work together to parent her in a way that we both agree with, in a way that will allow her to live a healthy life. I had good intentions, but what I did to my daughter was truly disgusting. I'll give her a few weeks and then maybe move her to a different school within the district for a fresh start. She says she's not angry at me, but I know that is not true. I deserve it. I'm lucky that she is not refusing to speak to me. I will speak to the family doctor and her therapist about how to get her to work with the discomfort regarding tampons and pads. Okay, so that wasn't included in the original. And that is really like... Yeah. Key information, yeah, bitch. I'm truly sorry for the ableism that I displayed here. I was truly inappropriate to handle the situation like this and then to share it online where people could read it. I'm sorry my post became a safe space for people to share propaganda about autistic children. I am disgusted and will do better for my family. Wow. Wow. I. It's pretty rare that you see that type of accountability. I'm telling you, life-altering moment yeah, here yeah. for, like, everyone involved. Yeah, I think as a parent, this is going to make her so much more solid in terms of moving forward on how to deal with these types of things yeah. that are constantly changing. You know, you can't, like, prepare for what your teenage daughter, who is also autistic, is going to go through. But, like, I feel like this was such a parenting moment where she could reflect and be like, I kind of, I failed and I need to do better. And I also need to work yeah, in a better way to co-parent with my husband. I've never, I don't know, like I literally, I don't know why I'm getting the chills over this, <laughs> but I've never, I don't think on any Reddit post, I've never seen such like rapid character yeah. development. Yes. And I hope it's real. I hope it's genuine. It seems like it, like recognizing mm-hmm. that like you played into ableism yeah. and like, like propaganda against yeah. autistic children. For sure. Like to recognize that. Good, good. I hope this 
yeah, she recognized this definitely and she recognized she could do better as a mother, yeah, as an advocate for her autistic daughter mm-hmm. in the autistic community and as a wife. Yeah. And a co parent. Well, and so OP did post this in two places. I'm I searched the username on the Wayback Machine and it looks like they posted an Am I the Asshole and True Off My Chest. Mm. And so when you look at the Wayback Machine and the one that's posted on True Off My Chest, a lot of people do point to OT as well. So I hope that like she takes that into consideration and like there's definitely something going on where it's like OT, we, I mean, occupational therapy, we deal with all areas of life, all areas of occupations, your activities, your day-to-day things you need to do to function. And so like personal hygiene is one of our ADLs. It's something we thousand percent cover. And this is like an OT problem. She, Mm -hmm. if she can't handle it, she can assist the help of an OT to be like, okay, let's determine what the occupational dysfunction actually like where it really lies. Is it a sensory issue? Is it just a lack of education? Is it, does she not have the physical abilities, the cognitive ability to do this? So I hope that OT will also get involved. Am I the asshole? Absolutely. That post, she got absolutely roasted. (laughs) Clearly. Um, The true off my chest one, it doesn't really like, I see on the way back machine that there's some awards that were given to her. So I'm confused by that. Yeah. But one of the top comments that I see is see if her pediatrician can write a prescription for occupational therapy. Mm. This is one of the many things I worked on with this population as a pediatric OT. Mm. Amazing. See, like, yeah, the power of Reddit to, like, the right people can find these posts. Yeah. I love when you see that. Because Reddit's so much more than, like, an entertainment platform, Mm -hmm. you know? I I guess I I shouldn't even call it that. That's kind of mischaracterizing it. But I think oftentimes people do look at it as a source of like ludicrous stories and like, you know, where a source of kind of news and media and and entertainment, honestly, you know, like you get on and there's memes and stuff like that. But there's oftentimes where you see how useful it can be. There's so many amazing communities. The next comment I see under that one is, yep, I'm an OT too. We look into sensory needs and help families adapt and modify activities in order to increase independence. It's like all OT is. It's like, let's just increase independence, maximize occupational performance, Mm -hmm. optimize function. Uh, Menstruation is an absolute nightmare for a lot of autistic folks, myself included. Oh, wow. So like, yeah, I, this is just amazing. The next one is my autistic daughter did this. It was a godsend. She learned so much. So this makes me, this makes me have a lot of hope and like feel really proud that Reddit came together and kind of rocked her into a new world. Yeah. Sad, extremely sad, especially with the fact that now like the little girl has to go to a different school. Yeah. Like, oh, could have been avoided. That does suck. It's kind of a... I don't want to say drastic, but it's like this big change based on something like you said that could have been avoided. Mm -hmm. It'll work out. It shall. It definitely shall. 